We tend to think of Narragansett Bay as a geological formation, something that was created when the glaciers began to melt about 10,000 years ago. Uh, the saline portion of the bay is about 147 square miles, uh, extending 28 miles uh, from the ocean north and stretching 11 miles wide from east to west. Uh, it's flooded by nine uh, major rivers, uh, the three largest of which include the Patuxet, the Blackstone, and the Taunton Rivers. But the bay is much more than a geological formation. The bay as we now know it actually wasn't created until 1741. Narragansett Bay had been a hotly contested area since the 17th century. The Dutch included the bay's western waters on many of its maps. In 1670, Connecticut went up against Rhode Island, vying for lands across their shared border. And so acrimonious grew the uh, disputes that had actually resulted in murder. By the early 18th century, those tensions began to wind down, but they began to actually escalate with Massachusetts to the east, who were trying to define their shared border. If good fences make good neighbors, a maze of meandering tidal rivers makes for litigation. In 1741, Rhode Island and Massachusetts went to court over their shared border. Citing its 1663 Royal Charter, Rhode Island claimed that lands three miles east and northeast of the most eastern and northeasternmost sections of Narragansett Bay. Massachusetts rejected this claiming that the lands in question didn't actually touch Narragansett Bay. So the central question of this court battle was, where is Narragansett Bay? Now to answer that question, they called scores of deponents from all walks of life, merchants, sailors, ministers, Native American farmers, to explain how they understood Narragansett Bay. Narragansett Bay was defined in 1741 by political allegiance. It was defined by metropolitan mandate. It was defined by European and Native American knowledge of the area. They realized that uh, there were vastly different conceptions of what was Narragansett Bay. For the people of, with allegiance to Massachusetts, the bay was decidedly small, some claiming that it extended only from the end of Aquidneck Island to Point Judith in the west. Some actually claimed that it was only from the end of Connecticut Island to Point Judith in the west. For Rhode Island, it was decidedly bigger. Some claimed that it extended from Point Judith all the way to Sakonet Point. One actually claimed that it extended from Gay Head on Martha's Vineyard all the way west to uh, Montauk at the end of Long Island. Ultimately, the Boundary Commission decided on behalf of Rhode Island claiming that Narragansett Bay extended from Point Judith to the end of the Sakonet River and some of the lands adjacent to it. It actually gave the Taunt River to Massachusetts, despite Rhode Island's protests. Altogether, Massachusetts ceded five towns to Rhode Island, Little Compton, Tiverton, Bristol, Warren, and Cumberland. This was confirmed by King and Council in 1746, and a year later, the land was transferred. If the estuary had existed since the end of the Ice Age, it wasn't until 1741 that Narragansett Bay, as we now know it, was created by the people who live by and work on its waters.